channel DigiLearner. I am going to present my video lesson on justice. So this chapter deals with the unit 2 paper, board paper 3 and for second semester B honors in political science according to CBCS model syllabus. So I have already presented present four videos on this paper. After this video, I will submit you or present you on the next topic on the subject of justice like substance justice, distributed justice and global justice and two important theories of justice like uh, John Rawls and uh, Nozick. Myself, Jagannath Konda, the faculty member in political science of Hilltop Degree College, Mohana, in the district of Gajapati, Odisha, India. This topic on justice that is from core paper 3 in and 2. So now I am going to introduce about the justice. Like liberty and equality, justice is also another basic concept of political theory. While defending or opposing laws or policies, decisions, actions of the government, appeals are made in the names of justice. If we have study or read about important e events and movements all over India, all the movements and events are organized on the names of justice. Everybody demands what that is justice. Person involved in the every agitation for securing their interest always raise the slogan, we want justice. All civil rights movements are essentially movement for justice. Justice for rule of law, absence of arbit arbitrariness, and system of equal rights, system of equal rights, freedom, and opportunity for all in society. Justice is indispensable for each human society. So now we shall discuss about what is justice. What is the meaning of justice? Justice is one of the complex concept of political theory which touches almost every aspect of human life. The word justice has been derived from Latin words jogere, meaning to bind or to tie together. The word jos means tied or bond. In this way, justice can be defined as a system in which men are tied or joined in a close relationship. Justice stands for fair and equitable distribution of values, rewards, responsibility, obligation among all the members of societies. Justice also means fairness, righteousness, equity, and just order in all sphere of human life. In other words, justice means securing and protecting of rights of all in a fair way. Justice stands for harmony among all the people, orderly living, securing rights of all in a just and fair way. Now we shall discuss about some of the definitions of justice which are given by different political philosophers. The term justice has been defined differently by different political philosophers. The meaning of justice has been changing from time to time 
let us discuss some of the definition of who justice according to salman justice means to distribute due share to everybody according to dr rafael justice protect the right of individuals as well as the order of the society he also held that justice defined as legal justice as well as moral justice according to c mariam an english political scientist or writer of political science justice consists in a system of understandings and procedures through which each is accorded what is agreed upon as a according to john rawls an reputed uh, theorist of uh, justice and he defines justice as justice is the first virtue of social institution as a truth of as a truth is of system of thought according to plato a great <coughs> greek political philosopher just and according to him just to justice is the virtue of his ideal state and he defines justice the performance of his due functions by each man in accordance with the chief quality of his soul in other words according to him justice means having and doing what is one's own in his ideal state he divides the three class of people that is spirit appetite reason and according to him each class perform his or her assigned functions duty properly if he performs assigned duty perfectly then according to him justice can be established according to aristotle the father of political science justice means equal should be treated equally and unequal should be treated unequally justice arises when the evil comes to take place so this means justice is proportionality justice is distributive means according to his share according to ability according to his capacity justice should be maintained according to the theme of aristotle according to utilitarians justice is securing of greatest happiness of greatest number now we shall discuss about various dimension or types of justice justice is following dimensions or types they are like natural justice social justice economic justice political justice and legal justice all these are totally interrelated and interdependent to each other first of all we shall discuss about natural justice so we have to know what is meaning of natural justice or what do you mean by natural justice man as a member of society has to mold his behavior so that he can act in proper way without disturbing the feeling of others yes. to mold the behavior of an individual of which fellow being in accordance with the law of nature implies natural justice the word nature literally mean the innate tendency or quality of a thing or, or object and the word just means upright fair or proper the expression natural justice would mean the innate quality of 
being fair. In other words, natural justice means what is right and what is wrong. That depends upon the conscience of every individual. Historically, natural justice has been used in a way which implies the existence of the nurtured in the tradition of British jurisprudence, often evoked, involved with a reference to equity and good conscience. Legal experts of alienation did not draw any distinction between natural justice and natural law. Natural justice was considered as that part of natural law which relate to the administration of justice. Now we shall study about the second dimension and important dimension of justice or important types of justice that is social justice. Social justice may be regarded as an important factor of social transformation. Social justice implies the absence of discrimination on the basis of caste, color, religion, gender, status, etc. It also prohibits forces creating artificial social barriers like those of untouchability. Besides this, protection and improvement of weaker sections and, and downtrodden sections of the society equitable distribution of necessity of life like clothing, food, shelter, health facilities and education constitute social justice. Social justice is to alert to each individual his or due share in social sphere and to distribute social facility arise on the basis of law and justice constitutes social justice. It also means absence of privileged classes in society is an essential attribute of social justice. Untouchability, apartheid are against the spirit of social justice. Social justice is an important The aesthetics or features of the Indian constitution that is mentioned in the preamble of the Indian constitution. In contemporary time, a large number of scholars prefer to describe the concept of justice as social justice. According to Barker, Ernest Barker, an English political scientist, Social justice is another name of uh, for equal social rights. Social justice aims to provide equal opportunities to every individual to develop his inherent qualities. According to C. J. P. B. Gajendra, an Indian political writer, writer of in political science, Indian political, Indian political writers writers political science. By social justice we mean ending all kinds of social inequalities then to provide equal opportunity to everyone. So in Indian constitution several provisions have been made provided with a view to secure social, social economic political justice. Untouchability has been constitutionally abolished. Every citizen has been granted equal right of access to public places, place of worship, and use of places of entertainment. Now we shall switch up to economic justice. Economic justice is one of the most important dimensions of justice. Without economic justice, political justice and social justice is meaningless. 
economic system is a sub system of uh, social social system or in society this concept of economic justice is very wide economic justice nothing but a corollary of social justice it involves equal economic value opportunities right of all and prohibition of economic discrimination between men in economic matters no other form of justice like social political justice is eligible or meaningful without being associated with economic justice the concept of economic justice involves the idea of a socialist pattern of society economic justice is indeed closely related to social justice because economic system always an integral part of social system economic rights and opportunities available to an individuals are always a part of the entire social system economic justice demand that all citizens should have adequate opportunity to earn their livelihood to get fair wage as can enable them to satisfy their basic needs like clothing food shelter etc the state should provide economic security during illness old age and in event of a disability no person group or class should be in position to exploit others nor get exploited there should be fair equitable distribution of wealth and resources among all the people the gap between rich and poor should be minimized the fruits of prosperity must reach all the sections of the society then we shall switch up to political justice political justice prevails in society where everyone has a share in political process the state should establish political justice it means giving equal political rights and opportunities to all citizens to pack to take part in administration of the society concerns has been should be should have the right to vote without in discrimination on the basis of religion color caste creed sex birth or status every citizen should have an equal right to vote and to contest election the makers of the new constitution says that political justice involves universal order of franchise and no distinction on the ground of religion sex caste color and the the like in matters of holding the public offices then we shall discuss about legal justice justice must be supported by law just legal justice implies justice given according to law which again implies equality for law it means no one can be above the law and everybody should be equally punished for equal crime ernest brackett says that law ought to have both validity and value validity stands for sanction of law law draws its value from justice the court of law can give legal justice thus the fundamentals of modern justice are the code of civil and criminal law law of evidence property and contract law procedure of trial provision of appeal to higher court etc legal justice has two dimension the formulation of just law and then to do justice according to law while making law the will of the rulers is not to be imposed upon the rule law should be based on public opinion and public needs social value morality convention the idea of just and unjust must always kept in mind so in this chapter justice i have provide provided some of the questions assignment that is necessary for the students who appear the um, core 
and in semester 2 of CBCS model syllabus. So this is an important questions I have prepared which is very valuable for the student of political science in different examinations, post examinations. Thank you very much. So at last uh, I um, inform you that to subscribe my channel for your further reference for your further notification of my video. And again I say to you to like, share and subscribe my channel for the um, benefit of uh, the student community. Thank you all.